Hello, this is Garage Cam presented by Mobile One. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner. Looking at Daler and Hart Jr.'s car, we got a 30 minute show here to show you all the cars and stars of the Sprint Cup Series, and we have a lot to talk about. 1961, the first time NASCAR's featured division here, the Sprint Cup Series, ran here at the Bristol famed half mile track. Jack Smith winning that first race. Who won the pole? Fred Lorenzen, a lot has changed here over the years. His pole speed, 79.295 miles per hour. Last year, track record for the Sprint Cup Series, 129.535. That's 50 miles per hour difference. Kyle Busch winning the pole last year. So much has changed here in the Sprint Cup Series. So much has changed with Bristol. You see these grandstands completely surrounding us. They weren't here back then. Now over 100,000 people crowd this joint. It's the last great Coliseum, that's what they deem it, and the atmosphere is like no other. Hey, change is the theme today. So much change in the Sprint Cup Series. Back then, we qualified single car. Now we qualify group qualifying. Way more exciting, and everybody looking forward to this group qualifying in particular. Change, big changes coming this week from NASCAR. Rule changes, that is, for the qualifying. Teams will now be allowed to use their cooldown units so you won't see cars taking cooldown laps slow on the bottom of the racetrack. When they pull out onto the racetrack, you will see them go full tilt. Talking to some crew chiefs this morning, including Alan Gustafson of the 24, the, the teams will be able to come out here. They won't be able to lift the hood of this race car to hook up the cooldown unit. The radiator, of course, is up here near the front of the car. The hookups will be Underneath this flap right here, you see the flaps, they have them there. The cowl is right there. These are the, what are called the cowl flaps. They have one on the left side and the right side of the vehicle. Depending on the radiator setup of the particular team, the team member will be able to open up these cowl flaps and hook up the cool down unit to get some cool fluid circulated in this, in this stock car. Doing so will ensure these cars don't overheat will ensure they'll be able to go out and take more qualifying laps and put on even a bigger show here during qualifying. Should be very interesting. A lot of people wanted that rule up and down this pit area. And guess what? NASCAR listened. First in the chat today, Gilbert Ramos. Gilberto Ramos. Hi, all. Hello, Gilberto. Hey, if you're new to the chat room here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam, why don't you hop in? You see this video of the number 16 car here? Hop in, tell us who you are, where you're from, what you want to see in a garage cam. And guess what? The 16 car here, we have Jason Overstreet to answer our Mobile One Auto Tech question of the week. And this week's question pertains to the car here at Bristol. You have such a dramatic banking here. You know, the car unloads going into the corner. How do you keep these cars, especially with the new rules package, from bottoming out at a little track like this? Well, it's all it's all in the shock absorbers and the springs. You know, we run a spring package that helps hold the car up, and then we have uh, bump stops on the shocks that limit it uh, on how much it travels. And we can adjust that with just the, with these little shims. You just just uh, just slide these little packers in and out, and uh, this will adjust the height of uh, where the splitter is on the track to keep the splitter off the ground. So basically, if Greg Biffle comes in and say the the chassis is kind of bottoming it on the track, you can use these these shims yep. to adjust the car. Yep, and then we all have all different sizes: 32nd, 16th, all the way up to a quarter. You know, and, and uh, for, usually we get it pretty close at the shop to our K rig and pull down machines to where uh, we don't, but you just fine tune it with these. All right, thank you very yep. much. That's Jason Overstreet chiming in here on the Mobile One Auto Tech Question of the Week, and he's with the 16 car of Greg Biffle. Moving on, there's Austin Dillon's number three car. We got a lot of real estate to cover. Hey, here's a guy who's had some success. Not this year yet. Their team right now is looking like they're going in the right direction. Last year here at Bristol, they almost swept at Bristol. A big win in the spring for the number five bunch of Casey Kane, and almost won here in August. Okay, Matt, Matt, 8848. Who is ready for some good, hard beating and banging Bristol racing? Hey, guess what? I am. I think everybody here who is in attendance, whether they're in the stands, a pit crew member, Max Pappas, or a driver, is ready for that. That's what Bristol is all about. It's a different brand of racing. If you've never been here, folks, you have to. The name of our show is Garage Cam. We're not in garages today. This is old school, baby. We're out on pit road, pit boxes, behind the cars, trailers, 
in the infield. And the car's on pit road. Cars are tuning up right now. The glorious sound of horsepower. Oh, if that don't wake you up, I don't know what will. We're going to give you this all-access tour as only we do here on NASCAR.com. Well, we'll show you all the cars that are competing here this weekend at Bristol. Joe Nemechek's number 66. Get a look at some of these. Hey, new sponsors going on this car just a few minutes ago. CRC, brake clean. CRC chemicals on this number 40 car. Great to see. The Dr. Pepper machine rolling out. They're going to get this car turned around and pointed in the right direction. Still some cars out here on scale pads. The 30 crew just getting their car down off of the scales. Ryan Truex's Borla, number 83, right here. Starts our tour here at the end of the garage area. Parker Kligerman's number 30, the Swan Energy machine. Blaine Smitty checking in here on our Sprint tablet here in the garage area. And you say, Hi, fans from Connecticut. It's time for the bull ring. Oh, you're from Connecticut, up there in the ways of Stafford Motor Speedway or Waterford Speed Bowl and some of the great NASCAR home tracks up there. And I'm sure you are freezing your butt off up there. Hopefully, you can, we, we can warm you up with some sunshine here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. You see some snow hats up here right there, but I'll tell you what, it's a little chilly here, but the sun is starting to shine. It's starting to warm up. It's nothing like it is up in Connecticut. Josh Wise, the number 98 machine. We'd be remiss if we didn't show you. We, we try to show you all the cars here. Wait a minute, let's see if we can scoot back there and get a shot. The Levine family racing number 95 back there in the back beyond this gentleman of Michael McDowell, the K-Love machine. Not out here on pit road. There is the seven car. You know what? I think I see McDowell. Guess what? Let's do it, guys. Why not? Why, why not? We could do it. This is a free format show. It's unproduced. It's all for you guys, the fans. We see a driver. We're going to try to get him. My audio guy and my producer don't like this because I'm making them work a, lot, a little harder. <laughs> but there is the K-Love number 95. Entry right here. The boys putting some new shoes on her. And here is Michael McDowell. What's up, Kevin, McDiz? How are you doing? Pretty good. It was a little cold this morning. The sun's shining now. And you got to be looking forward to getting warm and getting in that race car. I am. Yeah, the warmest spot at one of these racetracks when it's cold like this is in the car. So uh, excited. We had a good test here a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, it's always fun to uh, come to Bristol. It's one of the coolest places we come to, so a lot of fun. We were just talking to a crew member about shims and, and, and different things you could do in the suspension to get these cars right here. With the new rules package from a driver's seat, you tested here. How much different is it getting around this place? You know, Bristol's kind of one of those places where you come to and you pretty much do the same thing you always done. You know, um, for whatever reason, it's just Linda's hand to sort of the basics. So um, not a whole lot of tricks or anything like that here. Um, you know, mile and a half, so obviously there's still a lot to learn there, but these short tracks are pretty much the same. All right, Michael McDowell, this number Thanks. 95 K-Love team right here, talking about bullring basics. Yes, on the tracks that are more aerodynamically important, you'll see a lot more trickery. Here, it's back to basics. Let's scoot down here. I think we could hop over the wall here in the pilot number seven, Michael Annette pit area. Here we go. We got the wall here to get over as long as cam guy doesn't trip. <laughs> There's the Michael Annette, number seven, Flying J machine. Landon Castle's number 40, parked right next door. Hello, everybody in the chat room. I hope you guys are all enjoying yourself. A little sign in memory here of William Clay Ford. CM Pinkius, I hope I got your name right. Hello from Germany. So excited for this weekend. Oh, it is a big weekend here, Bristol. I think everybody circles this event, this event and the one later this year in the fall on their schedule. All you Joe Nemechek fans 
Oh, I know you're looking forward to seeing this 66 car. And here is Danica Patrick's GoDaddy number 10. Timmy Hill, the number 33 machine. Second week, last week, is returned to the Cup Series. Here's a guy we talked to last, uh, last week, was camping out in the desert, David Gillen. Won't be doing any desert camping this week, and if he does some camping this week, I'm telling you what, it's going to be cold. Because at night, it has been frigid here in the mountains of Tennessee. Different paint scheme this week in the dockside logistics machine for none other than David Reagan here. Cole Witt's machine right next door. The speed stick gear, number 26, Toyota. And who's making all this noise? It's number 51 of Justin Allgaier. Allgaier with SEM, SEM on board, a, a coating product. You know, since Justin isn't around, I'm glad that he, you know, you never know, he might have come out here and sprayed the camera or something. We don't, we don't want any of that. This 51 bunch having a tough start to this season. Justin Allgaier, this is a place where he can get his confidence back. A place where he's won in the Nationwide Series. I believe it was 2010 when he was with Penske Racing. So a place that Allgaier is definitely looking for that comfort level and familiarity in a new brand of racing here. Of course, his rookie season here in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Oh, it says Outlaw above the door, and that is the number 41 of Kurt Busch. For all you Kurt Busch fans, Looking at the Sprint tablet here, somebody wants us to find Bono, so we'll, we'll definitely go and try and find Bono for you. But you look right here, the number 41 is pitted right alongside his car owner, the number 14 machine of Tony Stewart. It's been a tough start to the year for Stewart Haas Racing. If you look, yeah, Kevin Harvick has a win. Kevin Harvick has been doing really well with that brand new four team, an average finish of 18.3, a win, a 13th place finish. But for Tony Stewart, not so much. An average finish of 28th for Smoke. Even worse, an average finish of 28.6 right here for Kurt Busch. An average finish of 32nd for Danica Patrick. Team-wise, this team is luckily has that win under their belt and a car likely in the chase with Kevin Harvick across the board. An average finish of 26.8, you stat nerds. Stuart Haas Racing looking for this short track magic this weekend to turn things around. Ah, here's the number 36 machine of Reed Sorensen. Looking back, and we don't see Bono here or at uh, the number seven machine of Tommy Baldwin Racing. If we saw him, we try to get him on there for your request. The number 78 machine here, working on some tape on the front here. That tape isn't just for the grill, they also tape those little holes there sometimes. That's where you get air in for the uh, to cool down the brakes. And here's Eric Amarola. What's up, man? We got no garage. We, we garage cam and no garage, so this is a... Uh, pit road cam. Pit road cam? I got gotcha. you. So how you doing today, buddy? I'm good. You're a little warmer now. I am. I am. Yeah, it's, uh, the weather's warming up. It's nice. But I got a brand new bus this year, and uh, two, two times in a row, it's... Uh, the heaters pooped out on me. So, oh, gee. Yeah. So, so we you were, had to, did you have like, I slept in Long John's last night. Man. Really? It feels nice to be out here. <laughs> it's warmer out here than it was in my bus this morning. You, usually people go on the bus to warm out, warm up, but yeah. yeah, you came out this morning. Okay. But, Speaking of warming things up, you're going to be hitting the track here in this yeah. number 43 machine and looking for some short track love this weekend. Yeah. You got to love coming to the short tracks. I do. I love short track racing, uh, especially this place. Bristol is so much fun to race at. Um, They've, re they've redesigned the racetrack so we can run two wide pretty easy. Uh, sometimes we run three wide, which may or may not work out. Um, it's okay in the corners, but coming out of the corners, yeah, it gets tight, doesn't it? It does. So, uh, but no, this is a, a really fun place to race. Um, it's, uh, it's challenging. It'll certainly try your patience. And you see people get uh, pretty aggravated with each other from time to time. But uh, it's awesome to begin, to begin the year and, and go to the few races that we went to and then to finally get here to a half-mile racetrack. 
uh, something we all grew up doing, short track racing, so uh, everybody's ready to go. It's a little exhale. I should have known we were going to talk to you, by the way, because I just pounded some bacon this morning. Perfect, perfect, <laughs> keeping us in business. Right. So, uh, yeah, our, uh, our Smithfield Ford Fusion uh, should be pretty good, but even if it's not, we got plenty of bacon back there at the hauler. So our well, guys, that'll, that'll our keep guys, you warm in case the heater doesn't. Our guys eat well. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. All right, Eric Amroll here, the Kings ride the number 43 with the red, white, and blue Smithfield paint scheme on board. Beautiful machine here. Always love having Eric Amroll on the show because we know we're going to talk about bacon, baby. There's the target machine for the Rook, Kyle Larson. Hey, Flagman says, Flagman says we are halfway, halfway on Garage Cam as we pass the Axe. I wonder if uh, Kyle Larson uses some Axe body spray. Because it's on the car, Axe. My guys didn't know Axe was on the car. Now they know. See, even we learn, our guys learn something here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. The number 15, Clint Boyer, the five hour energy drink machine. Well, it's kind of a drink, it's a shot. Boyer's machine. And right next to it, new paint schemes. We all sh always show you new paint schemes on NASCAR.com, and then we show them to you here on camera on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. The number 40 CF7 flat black machine this weekend, AJ Amendinger. We just saw Amendinger behind his hauler just a moment ago. He just ducked in, likely to get some warmth. I guess they have heat in there, unlike uh, Amarola didn't last night in his bus. Ryan Vickers' machine, and here's Marcus Ambrose. Marcus Ambrose live on Garage Cam. Okay, you keeping warm? Because I know your teammate, we were just talking to your teammate, he had no heat in his bus last night. Yeah, it's a new bus too, so I'd be <laughs> looking for a discount, wouldn't you? At least take it back under warranty or something. Uh, we're good, ready to go. This is uh, Bristol, you know, we got Nice blue sky day, it's pretty cool, but I think it's gonna be a lot of grip. Looking forward to seeing what these cars have got. Is this kind of an XL for you guys? Because the beginning of the season, so much unknown with the rule packages and some arrow dependent tracks there. And now we come back to basics here for short track racing. Not really, I think um, even here, you're gonna have a very different setup on the car. And uh, I think teams are probably more nervous about this one than what they were last week. What about you? You had a lot of work last week to, to get where you got. Yeah, we, we uh, I mean, we're just sliding around a lot. Um, I'm enjoying the racing. It's a lot of fun. I just wish we were racing for, for first place, not 21st place. I, at the I moment. think you did pass the most cars, maybe. Last I week, passed though. a lot of cars. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Marcus See Ambrose here, the number nine Dewalt machine here for Richard Petty Motorsports. You see the nose of that Ford right there, man. He was passing a lot of cars last week at Las Vegas. The number 27, Paul Menard. As we pass by here is the Chevrolet of Casey Mears, talking to a lot of people in this team this week and how stepping to the Chevrolet side of things has really changed the culture of this team. Not necessarily because Chevy's better than Ford or Ford's better than this, but just a change sometimes of scenery can be all the difference. This number 13 team also looking forward to Bristol. Why? Because they tested here. They tested here, I think it was in December. Burr, you want to talk about cold. They had weather coming in, so they actually had a 12-hour test session. And I'll tell you what, they said they learned a lot. They're really looking forward to being here at Bristol. The number 17 machine, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Looking around for Ricky. Oh, you see business is picking up. When you see Skip, when you see Skip down on his knees here getting a shot, look. I mean, he's like an offensive lineman, too. He's, he came across the middle. He got a chop there, so you can't stop him. Can't stop him. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. Ah, we like to introduce you to everybody, even the, the drivers and the people behind the scenes. There's Casey Kane's machine. And then here is Kevin Harvick. And as Matthew Stricker pointed out, there's the sticker, folks, the big winner sticker. Everybody's saying win and you're in, which is kind of true. Kevin Harvick virtually locking himself into the chase for the Sprint Cup Series at Phoenix. Austin Dillon's machine. And here is Greg Biffle's car, the Biff strapping in Ooh. 
show you inside the car there is Greg Biffle getting situated in the seat of the number 16 machine. Jamie McMurray strapping in in the number one McDonald's ride. Business is picking up here. Kyle Busch, the Skittles ride, back again. The second time this year for this paint scheme for Kyle Busch. Give you a look at the tasty number 18 machine. If my wife is watching this right now, she's craving some Skittles. Oh, hey, yeah, get, get in there. Get, okay, Sweet Kim Coon, Miss Sprint Cup. Let's see the helmet. Come on. Get that picture. And there is the Skittles helmet. Right? It's a sweet helmet. Th does that? Oh, that's a words. sweet helmet. But, I like um, that. So I see where you went there. Yeah, yeah. So does it make you want Skittles? Yes. Where are the Skittles? I want Skittles. And I expect I'm in victory lane, so Next if Kyle week. wins, I just want to be pelted Skittles with Skittles. Skittles everywhere. All right. Yeah. We got it. All right, Miss Sprint Cup. Kim Coon <laughs> wants to get pelted by Skittles. Kevin Harvick will go backtrack here because Kevin Harvick is climbing in his machine, getting the helmet on. One of those drivers that puts on his helmet before he gets in the race car. Kevin Harvick and this team really running well. One of the bright spots here at Tony Stewart, Stewart Haas Racing. I'll tell you what, they were fast last week too. Did not get the finish that they wanted, of course. Not indicative of how they've been running. Here he is, Tony Stewart, walking with, with Russell, talking about Russell's burns on his hand there. And <laughs> That's okay, Russell. We love you. And Tony Stewart walking, poking into some of the photographers and having a good time here as he walks to his car. That's one guy right there that wants to run a lot better than they have. I think I, think I see Austin Dillon walking up. Let's see. Yeah, there's Austin Dillon. We haven't talked to the Rook, I think, since Daytona. And there is Austin Dillon. Really? Yeah. I told you. What's up, man? Garage Cam. How's it going? I, I ha we, I, we haven't spoke on the show since Daytona, and you've been having a really cool hashtag deal on your Twitter, all in. Tell the fans right. what it's about. And I, I, I honestly, I think this week's is really cool. Well, uh, we do an all in challenge on Wednesdays on my Twitter, Austin Dillon 3, and we always give away something cool. We've sent two people to two different races now. But uh, we have challenges. So the first week was uh, give an awkward hug to somebody. Which I'm glad I didn't come around yeah. you because that would have been awkward. It is. I mean, when you hug somebody <laughs> for more than like two seconds, it gets yeah. awkward. So had a good video sent in. A uh, guy won it out of New York. And uh, last week we picked a poker face, the best poker face. We had cool pictures in the South Point with Brennan and Ty. And then this week uh, I got my crew chief son, Ford Martin. He's going to have a, a prom date. So we're trying to find a good prom date. Have you date found a winner him. yet? We've uh, got a lot of good uh, quality choices, <laughs> so we're weighing our options at this moment. Who gets the vote? Rhonda, uh, his mom, doesn't get a vote, correct? No, no, he's out of it. Me and him are consulting together. I'm, I'm his consultant, and uh, <laughs> the best reason why is going to obviously win, not because of looks or anything. Just, no, not, just not why, at all. Not at why all. Why should you go to prom with him? Okay, and let's talk about you getting in this car real quick before you hop in it. The three, Bristol. Austin Dillon, you just got to, everybody circles this event on the calendar. This place is as cool as it gets. It is really cool. We got an awesome real tree, bad boy buggy Chevrolet. Got camo on my suit, on my car. It's Look getting at that ready to camo get really on the loud. Suit. Looking pretty good. Yeah, it's getting ready to get really loud. So hopefully we can uh, have a good day. How are you doing? Hey, Krista? it's Chris Did you just take a shot of Austin Dillon's crotch? No, no, it was it was uh, the, the camo on the side. Oh, thank goodness. Which I need, I need camo. Say, am I allowed to say crotch? I don't. I think you can say whatever you want. We, hey, we gave away a pair of underwear you the other week. You know that Krista has a dirty mouth. <laughs> and you, and that is true. That is true. All right, you guys have a good day. Krista's going to talk with Austin here as Austin gets ready to get in the car here. And we still got some business to do because we got a lot of race cars to show you here. And I think we have five minutes, according to the producer. He just pointed. Five minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> There's the Kyle Busch getting the head sack, sock on. Ryan Newman's machine, Newman behind there with the crew. Austin Dillon, we talked to him. There's uh, Denny Hamlin's machine. 
Matt Kenseth, this is number 20 machine. Kenseth, the winner here in the fall. Hoping to turn things around for, for this team. And here is the Cheese It driver, Carl Hello. Edwards. What's up, buddy? How long? Did you have your frosted flakes this morning? No, I did, but last week you were on a marquee. I was. Okay, this week, you look at the phone here. This week. Oh, no way. You, in the hotel, they had a Cheese It set up. <laughs> cheese It's making the number 99. So you just went from oh. a marquee to Cheese It boxes. I mean, you're everywhere, Carl Edwards. That was at your hotel? That was at my hotel. Did I woke you up do to that, or did No, you? I didn't do that. That's too talented for something <laughs> I could do, but I mean, you're everywhere, man. That's so cool, tell man. me about this cheese. It's 99. You're looking forward to getting on track? I am. I, I, we ran really well here last time we were here. Had a lot of fun. This place is so much fun. I think qualifying is going to be crazy today, so we're, we're uh, looking forward to that. A lot better with the cool down unit, so I know everybody on <laughs> yeah. pit road is very relieved about that. I think it would have been, um, I mean, people would have just been melting down from stress. If we're, <laughs> if we didn't have the drivers these, so. would need their own cool down yeah. units. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have some fun and um, that's, that's crazy they set up that 99 at the hotel. That's yeah. pretty cool. So. Now, hey, Carl Edwards, he's everywhere, guys. And All he's right. in the cockpit of this number 99 machine right here. Cheese its and Tony the Tiger on board. Louis DiDonato, you want to see your favorite driver, please. That's this guy, Jeff Gordon, 42 starts here at Bristol. 28 top 10 finishes. He's the active leader as far as wins here with five victories. Jeff Gordon knows how to get around this place. But hey, he's tied with that guy driving the Skittles car. And Kurt Busch, who's a five-time winner here, who can definitely use to turn things around this weekend. Joey Logano right here. And there's his teammate, Brad Kay, flipping up the peace sign. <laughs> he just leaned in and said, Logano, what are you thinking, cuz? The two drivers in here talking right now. Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, Jimmy Johnson. Business definitely picking up here. Three minutes to go on garage cam. Here's Jimmy Johnson's ride. There's Jimmy inside his car talking with the crew. Brad Keselowski going to be getting in that seat here in a second. He's, he's always late to getting in his car. Even in qualifying, he always is. And you see the cameras, of course, right here, all around Dale Earnhardt Jr., our point leader. Tammy Thompson, Daniel, we need to see Jr., the number 88 car. Oh, the machines here are firing up. Feel the energy, folks. Brad Keselowski, he's one here. He knows how to get it done. The Penske number two driver. Penske Racing has been on it. All of their cars have been on it. Fast every weekend. It's back to silence again. Hey, let's give you a look inside the cockpit here of Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was watching his niece, Carson Elledge, race the other day at Millbridge Speedway in North Carolina, having a lot of fun. This year, of course, running up front, man, that's fun. You gotta love it. Anytime you're, if you're a race car driver and you're running up front, you're having fun. Eric, MD, do the crew guys enjoy the old school feeling of being on pit road or do they like their garages? Great question. Love questions like that on garage cam. It depends on who you talk to. There's some guys that like it because they've been in this sport for so long that it kind of reminds them of grassroots. They like it on a day like this where the sun is shining and it feels good to be outside. On days where it's really cold, or really, really hot when we get to the summer months, they wouldn't like it at all. They like the shade of that garage area. So it just depends on who you ask, but great question. Hey, all you guys in the chat room, always feel free to ask questions here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Inside, Matt Kenseth's Husky number 20. As he readies for practice here at the world's fastest half mile. Denny Hamlin, still not in his car. Ryan Newman is in his car. Climbing in right now, Kyle Busch, live on NASCAR.com Garage Cam, in the Skittles ride. 
five-time winner here at Bristol in the Sprint Cup Series. He kicks some butt too in the Nationwide Series. And make sure you tune in because later today, I believe at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we will have NASCAR Nationwide Series Garage Cam. So folks, I'm your host, Matthew Dillner. This is Garage Cam. Oh, and the cars are rolling out right now. We'll let you see them. Bristol, the world's fastest half mile, a track that everybody circles on their calendar. Back to short track racing for the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Ricky Stenhouse and so many others looking to get the big win here in the mountains of Tennessee. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner. This is Garage Cam. And hey, until next time, we'll see you at the races.